This video is sponsored by NordPass. What's up guys, Sal here. So ever since Samsung switched to One UI's custom Android skin in 2018, it has received far more appreciation from its fans than its previous TouchWiz skin. Although there are many who prefer stock Android for its minimalistic look, I personally feel that One UI is better than stock in a variety of ways because it gives you more options. The current version of the One UI is 4.1, and people are getting excited to see what Samsung has up its sleeve for One UI 5.0 with Android 13. Thankfully, we have an early look at the new version thanks to 9to5Google, so let's take a look at the top 5 new features we're getting with the One UI 5. The first change we're gonna see is in the notification panel. It has a subtle new layout, kinda looks like the stock notification layout. The app icons are now bigger and honestly it looks much cleaner now. Even the notification settings and clear button at the bottom are in a pill-shaped background, which again looks a lot like the one on the Pixel phones. To see the biggest advantage of Samsung phones over competitors is a better multitasking capability. But to get to a multitasking screen, you need to open a task switcher view, tap on the app icon and select a multi-window as an option to open an app in split screen or multi-window mode. You see it takes a few steps and would be better if we could get there with a single tap or swipe. Thankfully that's what we're getting with One UI 5. We can now just swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to get into a split screen view. Also to get into the pop-up view, you just need to swipe from the top corner which certainly makes things much more convenient. Companies like Oppo, Xiaomi and more already do this so it's about time Samsung followed suit. Another useful new feature is called Active App in the quick settings that lets you know which apps are currently active on the phone. So you can stop the app from using the resources if you're not using it, thereby saving the crucial battery life. With that said, do you use the same password for all your social and internet accounts? If yes, then please stop doing that because if one of your accounts gets compromised, then you're putting every other account of yours at risk. But the downside is it's often difficult to remember all these passwords. That's why I use NordPass. It stores all the passwords in a single place, keeping them safe and secure. It recognizes your favorite websites and automatically fills in your login details and can also create complex passwords for you and will remember them when you need them. And not just passwords, it can remember credit card details, notes and shipping info all very securely. Plus it will notify you of any suspicious websites, keeping you safe online. If you are interested, check out my links in the description box below or you can go to nordpass.com slash techtalktv or use the code techtalktv to get an additional month for free. The third change we're gonna see with One UI 5 is the permission dialog. Right now it sits at the bottom which is good for one-handed use, but with the new version it's now shifted to the middle. It's bigger and colored similar to the stock Android. One UI 5 will finally let you copy text from images to the gallery app and keyboard. This was introduced to the iPhones last year and it's a pretty useful tool where if you found a text text in a photograph, it will have a button at the bottom of the gallery letting you pull text from the image which you can use in messages or anywhere. Other changes include the ability to turn off the ultra wideband feature if you don't really use it. The about section of the phone now shows the image of the phone. The Samsung Notes app now has a collaboration feature where you can share notes with up to 100 people at the same time and everyone can see the changes as it happens. And finally, Samsung has revamped the security and privacy tab and made it look more like stock Android. It places all your account security and privacy features on one screen, thus allowing for easy access to everything. So that's all the changes we're gonna see with the One UI 5. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.